Yeah. Perfect. I will do that. I will keep you muted until you're finished eating. Okay. So, welcome to Miles Edgeworth. March 14th, 116 AM. Question marks. To make sure the defendant is found guilty, what other choice do I have? That's the job of a prosecutor, after all. Th 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 that may be true, but why? Well, why go this far? Sorry, maybe I wasn't clear enough. But a guilty verdict is all that matters to me. No matter what the cost. I'm a prodigy among prosecutors. Always have been, always will be. March 14th, Prosecutor's Building, 12th Floor Hallway. It's hard to believe that I've been away from my office a whole month. I hope Detective Gumshoe has been keeping an eye on my office and keeping it clean. By the way, I don't believe like people have heard my Miles Edgeworth voice yet on my uh, channel. It's not really my voice, I stole it from another channel, but whatever. <laughs> uh, sweetie, you know uh, which channel I'm talking about. It's uh, Far From Subtle, of course. Yeah. Um, how unique! <laughs> Just like that other girl from G Germany. Anyway, um, <clears throat> yeah, this is Edgeworth. Hi, um, Edgeworth is the uh, rival prosecutor of Phoenix Wright, who is the the most uh, well-known lawyer from the Phoenix Wright series, of course. On this channel, we've only played Apollo Justice, in which Phoenix Wright was playing a, a smaller role. While still having a, a, while still having a very big role in the overarching plot. Um. Anyway. Hmm. The door is unlocked. Detective Gumshoe. Hmm. What is this smell? It's very familiar. Blood. There's a doggy outside. Just pretend it's outside. Just pretend it's outside the building. What the? What's the meaning of this? Freeze. Identify yourself! Shut up. <laughs> you got some nerve committing murder in a prosecutor's office. Is that a threat? Let me make one thing very clear. I don't know why. I tested it before and it was running perfectly and now it's stuttering. Just on stream. Perfect. Thank you, game. Thank you. Anyway. What? No one gets away with committing murder in my office. No one. Step, step, step. My name is Miles Edgeworth, and I work as a prosecutor in my local district. Little did I know that upon my return home after a month abroad, I would be thrust into a multitude of cases, and some very frantic and busy days. Ba -na 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 -na. 
I f finished photographing the victim's body, sir. Very well. Please continue your investigation. Yes, sir. Ah! Mr. Edgeworth, sir! Are you okay, sir? Keep it down, detective. This is a crime scene. When I heard that the murder had pla taken place in your office, I ran up here straight away. This is Dick Dumshoe. He's a detective with the local precinct. And the one they assigned to handle this murder case for the time being. You're looking a little pale, sir. Are you hurt? No, I'm perfectly fine, however. Ah! Look at what they did to your office! It's totally trashed! I'll say. The culprit's only my floor at dirt rather, rather well. No one gets away with checking mud into my office. Whoa! Sounds like your weary getting was getting weary really burned up. Bur damn it! Getting weary really burned up over this whole thing. An extremely stuffy British voice was never one of them. <gasps> really? This crime was committed in my office, so uh, so it is my responsibility to solve it. Oh, ho, that's just like you, Mr. Edgeworth. Okay, time to do some investigating. Agreed. Our first course of action is to gather relevant relevant facts and leads. We must not look. We must. We must not overlook anything, how sm no matter how small, if we are to find the truth. So to keep any leads or information we find etched in the forefront of my mind. Um. Kijk, kan je zien op Twitch? Oh my god. When you're intro. He's like, he keeps doing that. He did it yesterday too. Like. <laughs> he's like. He interrupts me with something that he has to do, so that's okay, but like, then he has to go. But what he does is like, oh, you're streaming. What game are you playing? I'm like. Oh, please! <laughs> anyway, speaking of things that pique my curiosity, why of all places did the murder took place in my office? Take place in my office. Mm, I get the nagging feeling that this is something important to keep in mind. Yeah, I was wondering that myself, sure. I mean, I can't, I can't really say it was just a coincidence, can you? I wouldn't call this a Boston accent. If it was Boston, it would have been like... I mean, you can't really just... You can't really say it's just a coincidence, can you? This is, this is different. I'm not... Not perfect with the Boston accent, actually. I'm just do I'm just doing this like homestyle, homestyle wanna. A little, little, little deeper. The key to your, the key to your office. What do you mean, sure? If you think about it carefully and use logic, it should become clear to you. Logic. I find a connection between two pieces of information, and connecting them, new information is born. And that is the end result of using logic. So how do you use it? 
First, I recall information through the logic button and then connect them together. Yeah, he's, he's, like, Gumshoe is, like, really wondering, like, how do I use logic? Because he never uses it, even as a detective. That's a problem. That's a serious issue. Don't you think? No, to touch the logic button and recall the facts. I could put this up here. Perfect. Oh. Boop. Is it really a coincidence that my murder took place in my office? For security reasons. For security reasons, all prosecutor's doors are outfitted with locks. Which means it wouldn't have been hard for the murderer and the victim to get in here. Our goal is impossible to dismiss the location of this crime as mere coincidence. Yes, is exactly what I was thinking, sure. There must be a reason why someone infiltrated my room. What was the killer after? Yo, we be on your ball today, Mr. Edgeworth. That's a beautiful logic, sure. Yes, well, when you follow leads to the conclusion, only the truth remains. However, if the information doesn't line up properly, I may stray far from the truth as well. But if I think carefully before piecing leads together, the logic should flow. Well, let's get started with our investigation, shall we? Yes, yeah, sure. <clears throat> okay, the basis of any good investigation is to examine everything, sir. Everything, sir. I know that. When I want to sim want to examine something, I simply touch the examine button. Oh, if you ever feel lost and want to talk, just touch the partner button, okay? It'll, it'll, I'll give you great precise advice as an ace investigator, sir. <laughs> so I'm gonna try later if I have free time, I suppose. Okay, so during investigations, I'm just gonna keep my voice still. That would that should give me give my voice some rest. Also, I really want to investigate this. Why? Why are you so excited? He can't, like, look at straight in front of him. He has to look to the left slightly for some reason. <laughs> well, it's a good thing my steel samurai doll was spared any harm. Speaking of which, I still haven't actually sat down and watched any of that show. What's it about again? Well, I don't know much about it myself, but the hero of the Steel Samurai, warrior of near old Tokyo, is the Steel Samurai. And his goal is to defeat the evil mag magistrate. It's a show geared toward kids. However, its high, its high production values and riveting plot draws a number, draws in a number of adults as well. Spin-offs like Prin Pink Princess, War of old, Little Old Tokyo, and The Nickel Samurai, along with the deluge of merchandise, and even a new stage show gives it presence. You sure know a lot. Are you sure you're not some sort of rabbit fanboy? Oh, of course not. Anyone that keeps up with society knows at least this much. And that conversation lasted longer than expected. Let us return to the investigation. He's such a dork. Oh, whoops, I pressed the logic button. I love Dorky Edgeworth. Hmm? You want me to un unmute you? It's time! Okay. It is I. It is you. <gasps> How is that possible? What? The burning uh, plot, you keep I telling yourself know. that. Edgeworth. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. Yeah. Isn't it great how like how much of a dork Edgeworth is from the Steel Samurai? Like I never he noticed even it before. Seem like he's watched the show. Hmm. 
He doesn't really seem like he's watched the show. Oh, he definitely has watched the show. It can't, oh, it can't, it, it can't be possible. He's just didn't. pretending. I don't. He's pretending to not have watched the show. Yes, definitely. He is a fanboy, all right. Like for sure, there's no other way. I've seen his, we've seen his like <laughs> little bits, little bits of behavior from the anime, and I've seen him behave yeah. in spirit in, in the spirit of justice as well. Yeah. Like he likes that show. It mm -hmm. makes him human. Ups, absolutely. That's right. Mm -hmm. I won't rest, rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking nook and cranny. Okay. So if he says that, I won't rest, that means there's still stuff to exp uh, to, to see. <coughs> Otherwise he'll say like, I've already exp uh, inspected this, but it can't hurt to give it another go. Or something like that. Whoops. What do we have here? Hey. I think I've seen one of these before. It's a police badge. Objective. Oh, I have the exact same thing, actually. What a coinky dink. <laughs> what a coinky dink. <laughs> Let's take a look inside. Mr. Buddy Faith. Your mom and you were arguing that your new chiropractor had two long sessions, and we made a bet. Hi, low drag. There's blood all over his lower abdominal area. Looks like the bullet passed clean through his stomach area, sir. In other words, he was shot. Yep. And until the autopsy is done, I don't think we'll know how much of, much more than that. Please have the body sent to the morgue once they're done processing the autopsy. <coughs> of course, this is the safest way I know to keep track of it all. Let's <laughs> put it in my pocket. That's the safest. Hold on, can you speak for a moment? Just an audio test. You're very soft. Am I? Yes. Your audio is like reaching like halfway at the exact same volume of the game, so people are gonna have trouble hearing you. Oh. Is that Not really. Hmm? It's at 100% now. That's better. Maybe, maybe also Skype is just having a hissy fit. Maybe. <laughs> if this current session exceeds one hour, she'd buy you a game. That's great. <laughs> Organizer. So instead of a court record, we have the organizer. It's basically the court record. <laughs> Your pretty mouth right up to the mic. My pretty mouth. Okay. I don't know, you won't see much of that pretty mouth. If I have it like here, this. Yeah, there's nothing pretty about that, you know? Oh shit. Yeah, the DS can like keep going for a little bit. Your files all over the floor, sir. It probably fell during the struggle between the victim and his killer. Oh, and I tried so hard to keep this place spotless while you were away. 
I mean, this is just this just rendered all the time and effort I put in pointless. I recall ever asking you to clean my room. Well, I watered the flowers every day, <coughs> just like you requested. I just added cleaning to the list as, we as a weekend special. But half a day every Saturday, I'd come in and clean this place until it sparkled. Gumshoe, you are a reliable detective. Thank you. Why did they fire him? Yeah, I don't know why they fired him in uh, in Justice for All. I, I don't know. Does he have a life? <laughs> Edgeworth, be nice. I already checked this area earlier, but it never hurts to take another look. That means we're done here. What have we here? Could this perhaps be the murder weapon? If so, it would mean that the killer made their escape after disposing of their gun here. I think I've seen one of these before. Hmm. Can you enlighten me as to where? Oh, I know! I was issued the exact same model, I think. Yeah, because he sucked. <laughs> I mean, that, that much we know. But he is showing, uh, he is, he's showing that he is very reliable. You don't have to. We are watching a Let's Play of it. We're, we're good, but still, it's just, he's not that bad. No, he just needs help once in a while. He needs to be properly paid and respected. Yeah. And not followed around by a yeah. crazy person. Yeah, he was tr he was being tracked that, by by, by that, uh, karma. that makes people very forgetful. I really like guns all that much. I mean, they're really dangerous. But now that I think about it, you do see this model around the precincts a lot, sir. Gumshoes special. <laughs> okay. I don't use mine much, except in emergencies. So that's why I didn't recognize it. So it's the same type of revolver as the ones used by the precinct detectives. Hmm, I seem to have gathered a few pieces of pertinent information. You know, to calmly use some logic and figure out if any of them are connected to each other. Let's do that. Killer's goal, the victim was a detective, and it was a revolver. That makes sense. The revolver, the, st the revolver, the standard model used by detectives. Could it have belonged to the recently departed? Detective Gumshoe, could you please thoroughly check the victim's body one more time? Yes, yeah, sure. On it now, sure. Yeah, Blowjack wants you to say it. Excuse me, pal. What? Let's. Hmm? What? I'm oh, sorry. Excuse me, pal. I see. What have we got here? Mr. Edward, sure. This guy is wearing a gun holster. It so appears that our killer somehow managed to take the victim's gun from him. Yay. Let's see what else we can find out about this revolver. As I always say, you gotta look really carefully at each piece of evidence. You use the scroll wheels and rotate an object. There's no such thing as a bad angle. You just like, but okay, 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 okay. It looks like only one round was fired from this. Oh, right, look. Just like Do Dojima. Oh, wait, wait, no, not Dojima, but like... Oh, yeah, I like Dojima in that, um... In that comic. It's like the, the Vic. The sus killed the Vic. 
and we have a perp oh, and yeah. stuff like that. <laughs> Silly. And has a perfect owl. Has a perf owl or something like that. <laughs> That's great. It just becomes gibberish. Mm hmm. I think a guy knew how to handle a gun, huh, Mr. Edgeworth? I have no proof of. I have no proof of no. But that is distinct possibility. My Edgeworth is tired. Well, he did just get back from a flight or something, didn't he? He did. He spent some time abroad. The, the finger wiggle, though. Yeah, the finger wiggle. If you look at it like this way, you can see how the finger is like going like from downwards to a perfect 90 degree angle from the base. That's not normal. Like, that's not how fingers work. Anyway. Jim! Why, oh why, how could this have happened to a guy like you? Are you alright? Don't touch me! Leave me alone! Just leave me be! Sorry, but I can't do that. The investigation is still ongoing, so please refrain from touching the body. The body? The body? Don't just talk- Don't just talk about him like he's just one- some lump of fre flesh? Look at him. Jim looks like he's just turned in for the night. I'm sure. I'm sure, just in a bloodstained soup, pal. Where are my manners? Aren't you the prosecutor? Why, yes, I am. I'm Jacques Portsman, prosecutor. Jimmy was my partner in crime bustling. Crime busting. <laughs> mm hmm. Detective Dick Gumshoe, sure. So you're Miles Edgeworth. I guess this is your office? Yes, that is correct. And it was you! You're the one who killed Jim! Hey, don't go go don't go around jumping to conclusions, pal. Just calm down, okay? I will not! I know how things work around here. High prosecutor's office doors all have locks built into them. And only the owner of the office has a key to his or our own office door. And that is correct. However, I was not the one who killed your partner. Yeah, Mr. Edgeworth has been overseas on a business trip his whole his whole time, pal. And the key to the door was me with was with me the entire time, okay? So the only one who could get in here was me. <laughs> Wait, that means I'm not sure what that means. So it was you then? You're Jim's killer! No way, pal, you got it all wrong. Everyone calm down! Mr. Portsman, correct? If you are a real prosecutor, you should know to stay collected. The investigation has only just begun, and then too early to be drawn conclusions. Alright, I get the point. You're right, my mistake. I tend to get a little hot-headed sometimes. You sure are one cool customer, though, Mr. Edgeworth. I've heard all the rumors about you. You're the great genius prosecutor. You're something of a legend, you know? Anyway, let's call a truce and work together, okay? Now, how about a how about a handshake to seal the deal? A pleasure to work with you. <laughs> he doesn't want handshake. You guys are conducting your investigation, right? Sorry for barging in like that. Carry on, then. It's your room, after all. Thank you. I intend to. I just want a little more time to say goodbye to Jim. You there! Sir! I want you to capture the scene on film for me! My final farewell to my partner, Jim. You should probably give them some space. 
So now this is... Ah, your jacket, sir! What is it doing on the floor? Yeah, we're still investigating, so I still want to keep my keep giving my voice some rest. It must have fallen off in the wall off the wall when the killer tried to threaten me by firing around. So the killer not only shot the victim, but they shot your jacket as well. They dared to shoot the ultra special jacket that you made your prosecutorial debut debut in. What if they had shot through it? It would have been a disaster. It's not worth getting worked up over, Detective. Not when there's something more here. Huh? Like what? That you haven't noticed yet, Detective. There's a giant contradiction right here in front of us. Really? Did I say contradiction? He must be- <laughs> He must be rubbing off on me. I'm starting to sound like him. Hehehe. <laughs> But I have my own methods, and I will conduct this investigation my way. When the scene before me contradicts a piece of evidence, or seems off, that's when my deductive skills come into play. No, it isn't! <laughs> Sorry. But, we're gonna, uh, I, um... But, I never finished it. I got until case four. Uh, so this time I'll be finish it the, finishing it for the first time. This is it. The bullet hole is where the contradiction lies. When I spot something that's off, I should touch a deduce button in, in, with conviction. Oh, that's a that's a sleep mode. Whoops. I have played investigations too. Again, also like I finished like. Case two, I believe. And like the third one I haven't. What do you mean, sure? It's elementary. Two first shots were fired in this room. The first just felt the victim. And the second felt this frame. Hey, that's right. However, this gun was only fired once. Hey, that's true, too. Which means that one of these bu two bullets was fired from a different gun. Cool. Sad. <laughs> it's, it's only sad that it didn't come to the West. We have to play a fan translation. The killer have another gun prepared for tonight. A secret safe. Thank you, Metal Shoe, for the follow. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And the bits go flying. If you, not, if you could kindly move this frame out of the way. <coughs> Talk about dusty. I suppose that's what happens when I'm not here to dust it once in a while. I had no idea there was a save here. Or I have kept it clean for you, sir. So when did you put this thing in? Every... Every prosecutor has one. Nice. They haven't played AAI 2 at all, so yeah. Oh, that's gonna be fun. You could do the, the first and the second one in a row if we want. But maybe I'll give it a break. Also, I'm seeing something. There, uh... Most of, it is most of the save is covered in dust, except for the panel. Are you seeing that too, sweetie? Yeah, I did. That's interesting, right? Someone tried to get into the safe, I guess. Then... 
Maybe someone else took advantage of the crime scene. Maybe. Or the murderer tried Pershing. to get in. Or... Well, there's two options. Yeah. It was a separate person with a separate gun. Yeah. Or it was the same person with a different gun. It's more likely that someone else had a different gun than yes. a person carrying around two guns mm -hmm. to fire off yes. at different points in time. Yeah. So it is more likely that a second person came in mm -hmm. and attempted to rob yeah. Mr. Edgeworth rather than someone that rather than the killer staying around for so long. Mm -hmm. Well, it could have been that to... the it could have been that the the person who shot the they shot the the casing with the with the vest didn't get anything. It could have been that that like the safe was try uh, was being robbed by the killer, but in vain. And that the person who le yeah who was left over here didn't get anything. And like just just shot the thing. Mm. Mia's Mia's too <laughs> smart, Flynn. She knows too much. <laughs> She must be eliminated. Just kidding, sweetie. I love you. I will never... I would never do something like that. Well, now I just feel threatened. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> She'll solve case five when we're case three. Yep. a smart one. Anyway, I said. Smart for you. E. <laughs> Talk about squashing my hopes am and I dreams. Making, am I making you feel bad by being too smart? Oh yeah. <laughs> I feel like my masculinity is being hurt by a girl that is smarter than me. <laughs> smarter than you? Wow, that's a jump. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm... Oh, so you, you think you're smarter than me? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's your trap. Yeah, that's a that's a big trap. But like, I'm. I mean, I'm going to university, but like, I am. I feel like I'm smarter when it comes to like, like logic and maths and stuff like that. But like, you're very. You're much quicker with your thinking, and more to the point, and like, it's like you are able to keep your thoughts in a row better than I can, if that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. My mind I is like, you. my mind is as, as, like, like, <laughs> all information in my mind is like spread out. Like, I have to look for all the bits of information within my brain and then connect it. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Yeah. So, I think, uh, in a sense, you are smarter than I am. And in another sense, I'm smarter than you. Which balances out perfectly, I think. Yeah. She has a faster GPU with a better infrastructure and pipeline. <laughs> But that's just visual information. You gotta say CPU. <laughs> uh, wrong button. Wrong device. Wrong. 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 No, wrong no, chip. like you press the wrong key. Oh, okay. Uh, the G and the C are in too far away from each other. Maybe. CPU, okay. Ba -da 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 -da. Now this is odd. You found something, sir? This keypad. Don't you find it to be a bit too clean? Yeah, there's a Ooh, thick layer of dust all around it. Dust for fingerprints. We can. You're there, the forensic scientist. Yes, sir! Could you please dust this area for fingerprints? 
They're just gonna let them do it for us. Too quick. We don't we don't have to do it. Yeah, I know. But that was the fun bit. I liked doing that with um with Emma? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that was fun. The thing is though. And during those moments, we were the, law, the the defense attorney in which we had to do everything for ourselves. And knew, now we are prosecutor and we have staff. We truly have everything better. So basically, and bless you. what you're saying is mm -hmm. Edwards is lazy. Exactly. Sweet. He's a lazy dork. Just like we are. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one who's lazy. Aren't you a little lazy? You said earlier you're too lazy to type, so. <laughs> yeah, I got you there. <laughs> <laughs> this is way too much fun. <laughs> You should have raised an objection first. Come on. Objection! Anyway. You're supposed to do that before, not after. I'm doing after this time. No. A word of a man. Chim, I swear I'll find your killer and bring him to justice. You wait and see. I'll be for the both of us. And then you wanted to talk to me about something? Oh no, that's alright, I feel like I'm interrupting their conversation. Do you have anything to say to me? Uh, and ri and uh, rise above the ashes or something? That's the only case that isn't called turn about something. I thought there were multiple cases not called turnabout something. Yeah, some cases are called something turnabout. Um, oh, I don't have it in front of me right now. Rise of the Ashes. Rise of the Ashes part one and two. Well, that was in the transcripts. It's, it's just one case. Uh... Which sucked, in your opinion? I don't think it sucked, but it was a little bit long... Long-winded. Is that why there were two parts to the transcript? Because it was just so fucking long. Yes. Okay. Mm, yes. My chest set. <laughs> I had it all set up, ready for when you go back. I figured we could play a few games. I had no idea you were Man, interested in chess. Really hamming it up. I'm actually pretty good at checkers, so I'd give chess a I thought I'd give chess a try. Hmm, in that case, I suppose I can set some time aside after we solve this case. They're gonna play chess together? I was <laughs> though I don't expect I don't expect the games to tax my mental acuity too much. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for the for the for the host easy bake. Uh is the alert working? That's a problem. It's a big problem. That's a problem. <laughs> hmm. Why does it want to... It doesn't want to do that. Hmm. Doesn't want to work. That's weird. That works. Oh, it's auto hosting. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought I was a, I thought it was a direct host, but there's, it's just an auto host with four viewers in chat. <laughs> In any case, um, thanks for auto hosting, uh, Easy Bake. Oh, it's your trophy. The, um, Knight of Prosecutors, right? 
king. King of prosecutors. It's not a trophy, it's a shield. God damn it. I didn't buy any dessert things. But dessert things are delicious. I don't think so. I, I think there's only the waste balls we bought for... Oh yeah, you should have that instead. Spray that luminol all over me? Um... Um... <laughs> that tea set costs more than your entire month's paycheck. W <laughs> what? No, I feel like I could have spoiled one of my monthly paychecks. Spring. Are we still talking about Ace Attorney here? Mm. Mm, yes. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do it. Don't do it. Blong for fingerprints. Mm -mm. Uh -uh -uh -uh. <laughs> nah. -uh. No. Don't do it. Nope. Do not do it. Don't be bad. Uh, anyway. The handgun, white prince, the killer's goal. Killer's goal, white prince. Hmm. I believe I have figured out what the murderer was after. Well, what was it, sure? If I get the safe as white cleaner fingerprint suggests that the criminal had at least attempted to open my safe. Making the culprit's motive for breaking and entering. Theft, I believe. Hmm. If any of you watched Some Call Me Johnny, that would be even funnier. Ah, oh, it's a reference. To a, like, what reviewer. What if... What if the victim was attempting to break in? That could be possible. But, looking at the intro screen, it was clearly that the... Oh. I'm being yelled being called downstairs. Sorry. It's okay. Hmm? Okay. Okay. I'm getting a drink.
<laughs> Back to the game. What happened? That's not what I wanted. Okay. I mean, it is odd that they're on the other side of the room. Mm-hmm. Uh, why are the books, though? It doesn't seem like something that should fall over. Maybe he was killed near the bookshelf. He, like, hit the bookshelf with a certain amount of speed. Which caused some sh like, some files to fall down. A struggle. But the gun, that doesn't really seem like something that... Mm -hmm. Well, okay, if you're being threatened with a gun, would you try and fight it away or would you freeze? I think most people would freeze. Yeah, but I don't think Especially that... Especially if it's someone they knew. Yeah, but that's... Yeah, but that's, that's not, not something... known, but... We only it's know that because of, yeah. Um, mode of theft, sense of struggle. Mm. They're both in law school, so it's unlikely they'd know how to defend themselves from a gun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, 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 they're not military. <laughs> is, your, is your mom coming up with crazy ideas? No, 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 no. There was a comment. Oh. No more PP that left. That caused him to struggle. Oh my god, the Pokemon move. Can you open the safe yet? Nope. I don't think there's anything but here we can connect. Carry two guns? That's what I don't understand. Let's open the safe then. Oh no, we can't. Maybe then we can only use logic? You know I can't allow that. Until this case is solved, neither of us has time to spare on our own rest. You're right, sir. I'm gonna work hard and be a real trooper to the end. And once this case is over, I don't think you can afford to take any time off. Aww. Logic is the only thing we can do at this point. So... Hmm. Let's try this. Oh, that worked. There's a possibility that the fi files spread on the floor are not the result of a struggle between the victim and the skiller. Ah. Mm hmm. That is the logic. So that's what I thought it seemed unusual. Mm hmm. So we need to not just think about how, if both are true, how they are connected, but if one also could, like, bring the other fact to another light. Our favorite ruby. <laughs> oh, you mean like it could be from when the killer tried to find something, sure? Precisely. Mm. <gasps> a code. Going through his files for a code. For the safe. That sounds plausible. I take back what I said. This is fun. <laughs> It is. I was thinking about the exact same thing. <laughs> Let's give that a try. Why do all the good ones always die young? Oh Surely God. you must. <laughs> Surely you must partner Sorry. whatever. At every once in a while, Mr. Edgeworth. Just for the record, you've beaten this game. Okay, no spoilers for the fourth and fifth case, please. Also, not for the second and third <laughs> case because Mia has never seen any of those. No, I didn't even 
You didn't even know it existed? Oh! Huh? That, that's great to like, to like discover that there's even more Finnish right to enjoy. I, I hadn't done particularly a large amount of research into how much there was of the series. Mm -hmm. I remember when uh, I had like such a discovery when I discovered that there was a translation patch for uh, Investigations 2. So I suddenly had more, more to play. That's great. To, su to suddenly know, oh, I can play more Ace Attorney! <laughs> you're gonna have to go since your birthday and people are coming up. Oh, Zenny! Happy you birthday. Happy birthday, dude! Have a good birthday! You can't stop her from figuring out the case yourself, though. That's no problem. <laughs> <laughs> A, a Dai Gyaka Tensai Ban fan translation? Where? Give me a link, please. Please, I want to know how how they're doing. Dai Gyaka Tensai Ban is um is a, a is a is a 3DS game uh, that is about about Phoenix's ancestor, and oh. in it are the characters Sherlock Holmes and Watson, who is a girl with pink hair and. For some reason, okay. I don't know. Okay. but the okay. property Sherlock Holmes can like is probably only like they probably can't bring it to the West because of the property, oh. the intellectual property Sherlock Holmes. I that's remember a, seeing about that. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. that's a problem, and it looks really cool because it has the same mechanic as in um, as in um, as in Phoenix Wright versus Professor Layton. In which you have mm -hmm. multiple, um, multiple witnesses at the same time to talk to. Okay. Which is cool. Uh, and I think I'm thinking of like instead of like getting um, Fire Emblem Fates, I'm thinking uh, of getting uh, for, for, for Professor Lane versus Phoenix Wright instead, because I really okay. want to play that one day, and I think. Now on that plane trip is there's no better time to do True. that to like fully immerse my, Im, immerse to immerse myself immerse. immerse myself into a nice game. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good story. Anyway, public domain. Yeah. I think you need a copy of Dual Destinies to hack the current demo to your 3DS. Oh, we have that. Uh, I, uh, my brother, uh, huh. yeah, I have that on my brother's 3DS, so I'll be hacking that one. Hehe. <laughs> um, anyway. Oh, <laughs> I'm kidding. I would love to play that, though. Ah. <sighs> If only it was there was a way to like also stream that. The translation isn't finished yet. Yeah, I won't play it till it's finished. Are they still hiring voice actors? Please. <coughs> Tell me. I would love to play Naruhodo. But he's probably already taken because the, his objection is like imperative to the entire project. Yeah. Or Van, Van Jeeks, uh, however he's called. Don't know about it, actually. If that already came out, it probably wasn't localized because A, Capcom, or the game being said in Fusil Japan, means they can no longer bullshit this ain't Japan. It's California, really. No, that's not it. Because... Yeah... <laughs> It's the capital B, so it made it just made an emoji. <laughs> um, <laughs> I just realized what it was actually meant to be. I was like, kept going for sunglasses. <laughs> yeah. I love you. <laughs> I, lo I have that moment too. I actually too. thought there were sunglasses. I was like, uh, why does it go to do with Capcom? <laughs> Um, but yeah. 
No, that means that that's not a problem because uh, the story they have is that um, during the second they 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 they, they during the Second World War um, they have an alternate universe in which the attack on um, Pearl, Har Pearl Harbor never happened. So the uh, American just the like America was way more open to. Uh, letting Japanese culture into uh, into the states, so that can still be uh, be set in Japan, as like his ancestor could have moved uh, from uh, <coughs> Phoenix Wright's uh, one of Phoenix Wright's ancestors can have moved from Japan to the U.S. Okay, thank you, and see you in a bit. Immigrants. Immigrants. You've heard of that excuse or explanation. Well, you know, it's not an excuse. It's a way for it. If, um, it's a way for the localization team to be like, uh, to to um, be able to to keep telling that story. Because that way you can make things canon. Just having like an explanation for. The, for the for how everything is so Japanese in LA. I, I thought that was a, a, a... That sounds like a pretty good way to tie everything in. And yes, it is. Make it... Like, but make more sense? I love I love the uh, comic because culture Because trying to completely stuff. reconstruct it in a translation mm -hmm. is uh, not going to be pretty. One of my favorites... Uh, favorite comics is Culture Schlo Culture Schlock. And it's like just a small. Oh no, we can't get in. Well, what? let's see. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> Uh, copy image address. I'll put it in Twitch, so you can say it. There you go. So basically, ah, uh, Los Angeles, truly the greatest city in these United States of America. That's the like fucking Japanese building with Mount Fuji. <laughs> I, for one, am proud to live in a country as rich uh, as rich in history and culture as ours. Something about this seems um off. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous, Apollo. Now come on, now come. Let's eat it and enjoy American meal around the traditional American kotatsu. <laughs> and then a sushi. Eat your hamburgers, Apollo. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Oh, that's so funny. Okay. People uh, uh, who are seeing this on YouTube are like, what the fuck? And you know <laughs> what? I don't care. Look up Culture Schlock by Awkward Zombie. That's a cough. Anyway. That was my cough. That was your cough? <laughs> That's your cuff. So, and so what are we supposed to do? How about we go find- How do we go about finding the truth? First, we come and restore the files to the rightful place. You got it. Here, let me help. Um, so this file goes here, and that book goes there. You know- You sure know- Oh, wait. That was actually worth saying that. Okay, now. You sure know a lot about where things go, despite being Mr. Edgeworth, despite it being Mr. Edgeworth's office. Oh, it's gumshoe. Because I'm the one who keeps it tidy, pal. Okay, done. Something doesn't make sense. Huh, that's... It would appear 
Send me a link via Twitter. Okay. You could have posted it on in the chat, but whatever. Uh, thank you. The great Asatori. Ryu. Ryu. Ryunosuke. Ryunosuke Naruto. It's pretty fucking awesome, right? That looks like kind of like Damon Gant, but like. So another person. Like, it's like. <coughs> an, uh, uh, like an ancestor of Damon Gant. Anyway. Mm. Seeing the Americanizing that Capcom have done for the rest of the Ace Attorney games is fairly impossible for this game. That's no problem. Wait. Is that why my own handbag is a lot? Yes. So what does she actually want? Oh, I, um... Sir! He says, sir, instead of objection. Sir! Wait, do they already have... Well, they might already have... I guess so. Oof. <coughs> um, excuse me for a second. I believe I am dying a bit. No! Doesn't seem. I don't know if they have voice actors yet. I would love to do that. Okay, I'm gonna bookmark that page. Thank you so much, uh, Zenny. Ace Attorney, fun for the whole family. Look at the pool of blood. Played these as a kid. Haha. <laughs> Me, I rest in spaghetti, never forgetty. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I played these when I was 12 as well. And like, it basically, it was one of the games that taught me English, which is great. <sighs> mm, the bloodstains on the bookshelf are still fresh. I suspect that the victim was killed in a standing position. I should wait because. I want you to do stuff with Mia.
Alrighty, I am back. Hi. And fully alive. Yay! Okay, see you later, Zenny. That's cool, learning English with Ace Attorney, that is. Absolutely. It was very cool. Wait, you learned English with Ace Attorney? Uh, it's one of the games that taught me English quite well. It, it, oh. it, 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 in, in any case, it enhanced my vocabulary. Especially in the uh, law and criminal stuff department. Because <laughs> mm. that's really helpful for everyday life. Yes. I actually had to like learn like law, law words once. For like English class, just like stuff like testimony, prosecutor, stuff like that. Uh, and I was like already prepared, so like I know this. Fuck y'all, <laughs> I'm getting a nine, <laughs> and I did. <laughs> I suspect that the victim was killed in a standing position, hence the prints on the shelf. And then the guy fell onto the floor, right? The blood on the floor is kind of grossing me out. Detective, I don't have the time to deal with your weak stomach right now. If... But you know I'm no good with blood sewer. Why are you a detective? Eh. Why is the... Why is the bullet hole down there? Something's not right. Yep, it certainly is. That's not where his stomach is. If it passed right through, then it should be... Um, in the middle of that purple one, then. Mm-hmm. Anyways, if the files were ransacked after the shooting had occurred. Deduce time! Eureka. This Eureka is kind of soft, but whatever. Yeah, it is. Eureka! Oh my god, you just learned that the Switch sucks less. The games given through online services will not be given a month expiration date. That's very true, and it's cool. And I like that. We'll, I'm what does gonna, that mean? That means we'll keep the games that we get from the online service. All the all the virtual console games, basically. So oh. I'll be getting Super Mario Bros. 3 during the first month, and I'll be keeping that. And I'll be playing, be able to play it anywhere. Yay! Oh, sweet. Oh, and there, there's probably going to be Super Nintendo games on it as well. And I really, really hope that they're going to keep going. And also put in, uh, N64 games on the on the on the uh, the program at some point. Mm -hmm. You don't see. Quite simply, the bullet hole itself is too low. The victim was shot in the stomach. The hole should be much higher up. But when the guy was shot while he was sitting or lying down, sure, it'll be illogical. The victim uh, leaned against the shelf against here after being shot. Yeah. Yeah. We suggest that he was standing when he was shot. Yeah, that means. Wait, what does that mean, sir? That means it you put the books back wrong. 
It means you need to use your brain every once in a while instead of mine, detective. I'm sorry for Gumshoe. <laughs> he tries so hard. In any case, it means someone made a faulty assumption. And it was from this mistake that our current contradiction was born. The Order of the Files. Hey, the Order of the Files is a bit off. Hey, actually... Actually, I think the labels are on the wrong... On, on the files are wrong, sure. Oh? Yeah, you see how the files that were shot became with the, with the number zero? What are those doing all the way down there after one, two, and three? That's real weird. Actually, the way they are organized now is the correct order. They are exactly as I see them in my mind's eye. But the numbers are out of order. That's why binaries are special, so they are arranged a little differently. From this, we know that the files are not in this order. And the crime occurred. So... If you ask for the original games for just random uh, Capcom M USA employees, that is true, yes. I'm glad they now actually hire a voice actor so that I can have a job maybe at some point. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. I hope. I would love that. I, I, I would absolutely love to have a voice actor job. That would be my favorite job. Over programming, honestly. Let's re let's rearrange the files in numerical order and see what we find out. Oh, yep, that's exactly where it should be. Yep. So someone was looking through the files for something, thought they put it back put into normal order, then sh and then the but then the detective came in. They shot him, and then the shell files fell out. Mm. As suspected, the bullet hole is now where it should logically be. Oh, wait, what's that over there? It tried to write something. Was it Leon? <laughs> Sorry, that's the John Garmampa <laughs> reference. Uh, uh, don't do that to me. You know I don't know that. I won't. That's why I like explain it immediately. A sweet soundtrack. It makes you tingle. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> Thrown to disarray twice before, once before, and once after the crime. But why? Maybe to cover up that they were searching for something. Once again, Mia is three steps ahead of the game. No, I'm we're sorry. just we're just seeing it. We should now look at it, so it's perfectly fine. <gasps> oh no! It's a gumshoe. Or gum two, oh. or gum fu. <laughs> so someone is trying to frame gumshoe. Yeah. Well, I say gumshoe on there, boy. I say something. But... Yeah. All right. Well, if you were leaning down there mm. for. Let's put it at a good five minutes. Mm -hmm. You had just accused two people beforehand, and now you're right next to a dead body with no one suspecting you of anything. You know, Ariel, what would you I'm do? It's a game. <laughs> You can put me on speaker if you want. Don't worry, I'm not a killer, I swear. I know that's what a killer it's should a say, DS but... game. Calm it's... down, Mom. <laughs> you, won't, you won't be waking up if you're dead. 
It'll be I'll a very kill you myself. Go on. <laughs> It'll be a very fun night at Bathurst. <laughs> I'm Bathirsty for blood. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's a, that's a smart, that's a smart assertion. Thank you, Bashful Devil, for the follow. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. How you doing? He had the time. Mm -hmm. He was leaning over the body for a suspiciously long time while having a conversation with it. Well, the body he... was... There was also someone looking at him. There was someone making looking photos at him, of him. But not looking really but at what he was doing. He was making photos of what he was doing. It appears one of my files was stolen. Uh -oh. Looks like Jim was able to leave us the name of his killer in the end. And this most important message managed to reach us. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. You can't be terribly pleased to hear that your beloved partner is the guilty party. If you're going to accuse Detective Gumshoe of being the culprit, I sincerely hope you have some proof to back it up. Jim's words are more than enough, wouldn't you say? If that's how you want to play it, then at least allow me to understand your reasoning. You got it. Mm. I like this one bit. There's something strange about this man's attitude. There must be some sort of flaw in his logic waiting for me to dig it out. Mr. Edgeworth, what are you going to do? When I was doing court, I'm going to cross-examine him. One way or another, I'll expose the flaw in his logic with the with this technique. Ooh, how did you cross-examine someone? Yeah. How do you do that? Can I? Can you explain it to me, sir? No. We could. It's a spend's play, of course, like it did in the, on the DS for some reason. Maybe some other time. Mr. Portsman, if you are ready. Oh, if you don't have time, you could just say so, sure. Oh. Mm. the gumshoe, you stole Jim's gun from him and shot him dead. Further, you messed up the files to make it look like you had committed the I committed theft instead. That's when you moved Jim's body that was sitting in front of the bookshelf. But thanks to that, you didn't notice the bloody letters in his his body was hiding. It'll be by his final words that you will be brought to justice. I'm going to argue that the victim's dying message points to his killer. I can hear Jim's voice, and he's, he's calling for this. He's calling for his killer's arrest. Hmm, are you showing that? Are you sure you're not mishearing his words, Mr. Portsman? There's, a, there's no way to tell the gumshoe is the culprit here. I will find the flaw in this man's logic and expose it with credible evidence. Rebuttal. <gasps> it says but in rebuttal. <laughs> yeah, no shit. But it's time for you to go to bed soon, right? Oh yeah, it is. I think we're gonna save this for next stream. This is kind of like an intro, like, stream, a little, a little bit of a test, I guess. Oh, this game was gonna start in the sky early on. That's, that would have been different. I mean, that would have been interesting to have them pair up. <laughs> well, not even pair up, just like, in the sky being the star. Oh. That would have been a very different game. At least story wise. 
she ended up being a detective, didn't she? Yes, but she was if still. I remember correctly. She was still trying to be a forensic forensics forensics expert. Yeah. Anyway, we just saved, so we can keep it at this. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye bye.